week eight of the fantasy football season, and here's a few players I look to sell and trade this week. The first guy, Darren Waller of the New York Giants. So the last few weeks here, Darren Waller, he's been playing good football with Tyrod Taylor in there at quarterback for this New York Giant team. He had the last three games, nine or more fantasy points in PPR leagues. So coming off a seven catch, 98 yard performance with a touchdown versus the Washington Commanders. That's a great game, obviously, here for Darren Wall with this Giant team. They're starting to move the football a little bit better over the last two games. But if they do go back to Daniel Jones in week eight versus the New York Jets, I don't see this Giant team doing much versus one of the better defenses in the league. So right now, while Darren Wall has played better with Tyrod Taylor, the last few weeks here and Daniel Jones possibly going to come back they're not going to sit him on the bench I think Waller is going to go back to stagnant and pedestrian numbers with Jones back in the lineup and right now while he's playing great football he's a player and a tight end I've looked to so high this week the next guy's Alvin Kamara and then the New Orleans Saints Alvin Kamara after that suspension he's come back and he's played great football as well is Kamara 17 or more fantasy points in the first four games of the season for him starting in week four so coming off a crazy game versus the jacksonville jaguars where it was just pretty much two or three yard routes he was doing was kamara and yards after the catch he had 12 catches 91 yards in that game on thursday night football versus jacksonville jaguars and i know he's got a pretty good matchup with the indianapolis colts coming up but right now i don't think the numbers are going to stay at this level here for kamara a lot of dump offs it's been so far in the early going for him and teams they're going to sniff that out i believe and try to make their car beat them down the field which has been a problem for him this season for the most part so right now while kamara's playing good football and he's been a catch machine out of the backfield like kamara's playing good football and he's at his peak value right now after the last few weeks since he returned from the suspension this is a perfect time to sell him high this week next sell is Gabe Davis of the Buffalo Bills. So Gabe Davis, to start the season, the first four or five weeks, he played good football for the last couple weeks now. He's come back town dirt. And Gabe Davis, I've mentioned, he's a boomer bust type of receiver. There's games where he's going to have 20, 25 fantasy points. And then like the last two weeks, he's going to put in duds as week six versus the Giants, only 3.10 fantasy points. And then last week, it's seven at the New England Patriots, only 1.60 fantasy points. So right now, there's something going on over there in Buffalo. They just can't close out these games. The defense, we know, is obviously banged up, but offensively as well, they just keep getting off to slow starts where they're trailing by 10, 14 points the last two or three weeks. And they got to come from behind and just fall short. So right now, Gabe Davis, I know he's still getting targets, but he's not going out there and really making plays. So like I said, he had a nice man from week two to week five with double-digit fantasy points. But now the last two weeks, he hasn't done much. And I know it's Thursday Night Football coming up. It's usually high-scoring games on Thursday Night Football versus a Tampa Bay Buck team that gives up the 10th most fantasy points. But right now, Gabe Davis, if I could get rid of him, and even if I get a mediocre wide receiver like a Rasheed Rice for him or something, or a middle-of-the-pack type of running back, I would still get rid of Davis because, like I said, he's a boom or bust wide receiver. And now he's been on the bust side of things over the last few weeks. I know the value's down, but still, he's just a guy I would want to get off my roster Right now, the next sell is Jacoby Myers of the Vegas Raiders. So Jacoby Myers, he's been great so far for this Vegas Raider team in his first season. After signing a three-year contract in the offseason, in the last three weeks here for my 17 or more fantasy points. But right now, defenses, I think, are going to start closing in on Myers. Devontae Adams, we know, is not 100% and not putting his numbers up. Where once Adams gets back to 100% almost and gets his numbers up, I don't think Jacoby Myers is going to be putting up the ball games like he has been, like I said, 17 or more fantasy points the last three weeks. So week eight definitely could be a shootout at Detroit where they're going to have to throw the football early and often. But after getting embarrassed is this Detroit team, I think they're going to come out and try to shut down this Raider team as a whole. So right now, Myers, he's playing good football this season, no doubt about it. But I just don't see it keeping up. And throughout his career, he's had some injuries on and off where it's been tough for him to play a full season so right now with all those factors and he's on a pretty bad offense where Devontae Adams though I think is going to start getting it going once again and Myers is going to lose some points and targets he's a sell high player for me this week the next sell high is Najee Harris of the Pittsburgh Steelers and Najee Harris he finally had that big breakout game that people were waiting for and coming into the season I said Najee Harris is a player I was going to avoid and he hasn't done anything besides that week seven game at the Rams where he had 14 carries, 53 yards, a touchdown, three catches, 15 yards. So right now, week eight, tougher matchup versus the Jaguars. Since Harris had a breakout game at this point, he's another play I would sell off just for anything here is Najee Harris. He's not explosive. 
takes him a lot of carries to get going and get some yards. And even in this ball game, he really didn't do much. A little bit over four yards per carry for Najee Harris at the Los Angeles Rams. And out of the backfield, he don't catch the football a lot as well. Where I think Jalen Warren's the more explosive back. And a guy sooner than later that's going to take the bulk of the carries, in my opinion, for the Steel team. So right now, coming off a good game. And if you could sell him off just for a decent piece, this would be the time to do it. Because this could be possibly one of the better games he has all season here as Harris. Like he did in Week 7, the next sell is Rashad White of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So Rashad White, same thing as Najee Harris. He's only had two good games this season in White. And he's coming off a decent one versus the Falcons in Week 7. We had 13 carries, 34 yards. Six catches, 65 yards. Now a tough matchup coming up Thursday Night Football at the Buffalo Bills. And yes, Rashad White, I know the better running backs who could catch the football out of the backfield in the league, but the numbers haven't been there this season. Only three double-digit fantasy games and six games so far. Tough matchup coming up, like I said, at Buffalo. And right now, this Buccaneer team, besides Mike Evans, everyone's pretty much been inconsistent on this offense here. Mike Evans, we know he's their best player on the offense. We know he's a playmaker. And he's going out there making plays. But Chris Godwin's been up and down the season. Rashard White's been up and down. And right now coming off a pretty solid game in PPR leagues. Even though he still didn't run the football effective at all with 13 carries for 34 yards. That's not doing much, obviously, here. Not even three yards a carry, pretty much. So right now, Rashard White, numbers still aren't all that great. But coming off a decent game, and possibly one of the better games he'll have this season. He's a sell-high player this week in the final play, I look to sell and trades Damian Pierce of the Houston Texans. So Damian Pierce, he's going to be losing work, it looks like, going into the week. We saw Devin Singletary before the bye week for this Houston Texan team in week six. Have a good workload versus New Orleans. And Damian Pierce, only two games with double-digit fantasy points in six this season. And the rest pretty much non-existent and not putting up numbers. So if it hasn't been a touchdown, Damian Pierce, he's not going out there and he's not really getting yards and his averages have been bad as well, Damian Pierce, on the season. So right now, he's not running the football well, getting about three yards per carry, if that, on the season. Not a great pass catcher out of the backfield. And Devin Singletary might fit this offense better, where he could catch the football out of the backfield and run in between the tackles with C.J. Shroud this season. So right now, Damian Pierce, he's a player at this point. I high hopes for him coming into the season. But right now, he's not getting the job done, and he doesn't look like he's a fit over there with this new Houston offense. So that's a few plays I look to sell and trade here. Week eight of the fantasy football season.